I'm back, I'm Blocky, and I've been busy. I crafted up our first diamond tools, did a little bit of farming, made a pin, and then gathered some cows, defended our base from a raid party with the puppers, collected a ton of trees, did some light redecorating on the interior of my house, got this cool new hat from a zomboid friend, and did some light trading with her. But welcome back to Gyro's World, hardcore Minecraft at its finest. I've been busy, as you can see, I've been redecorating a little bit, and I've redecorated the downstairs area a little bit to kind of prepare for what we need to do today. I want to get enchanting figured out. And in order to do that, one of the first things that I need to do is get a proper farm set up for our cows. I'm thinking the easiest way to do this is probably to get one of those little cow farm things that kind of like automatically kill them off due to entity cramming. And I think that might be one of the first things we tackle today. And then of course, I need to automate some of my sugar cane. That'd be our projects to start off for today. I'm afraid though, in order to do any of that first, we're gonna need some obsidian, which means we're gonna go, <laughs> oh no. We're gonna go right on down this danger hole. Why are these guys in here? Oh, that doesn't actually go anywhere. Okay, now maybe not that danger hole then. You guys stay there. Let me look around a little bit. I think, ah, this is it. Oh um, my, this guy's in here too. Guys, you don't gotta guard the caves. Excuse me, fellas. Can we, uh, can we talk about this? Ow, how did that hit me? There are too many of these guys in this world. I don't know what's going on here. How is that hitting me even though I have my shield up? Okay. Now, before I go down there, I should probably go grab my other sword. And you know what? While I'm home, I'm actually going to go ahead and take a nap, too. <sighs> there we go. Good night's rest. Goodbye, rain. And hello, uh, sword. Well, we need to go collect some obsidian. That is the main goal here today. But, of course, while we are at it, I'm going to attempt to find some more diamonds or whatever other goodies I might come across. But, you know, good things don't last long. That cave was kind of a bust. So, since we regenerated the world when I updated to 119, or rather, I regenerated parts of the world, not the entire world, we should be able to find more caves or cave systems somewhere over here or right there. Well, there's nothing totally fantastic so far, but at least it's not underwater. Oh yeah, baby. This looks like it's what I need. And now to slowly and safely lower ourselves to the bottom of this ravine. Ready? Go! Ow. Oh. Oh. That hurt my heart. That hurt my heart. I knew what I was doing and it hurt my heart. And I heard you follow me. It gave me a freaking heart attack. That was not okay. Not okay. Not okay. <laughs> I suppose it's better than nothing. I got there a little bit of this. I don't think we're gonna get much out of it. Unless there's a lava pool beneath this as well. So I think this is gonna give us just enough to make a portal without the corners, but we're not gonna have any left over to make our enchanting table that we wanna make. So I still need a little bit more obsidian. Cave, I will not ask you for this very often. But please, give me just a little bit more. Just a little bit more lava. Just a touch. Just a hair. Ooh, there's diamonds over there. Come to me, come to me. Yes, please. Alright, game. I need I need literally one one more bit of lava. Oh! Oh! Ha! <laughs> oh yeah. All right, not bad. Collected a stack and change of obsidian. I can't imagine we're gonna need more than that. And that alone took me, I think about 10 minutes. But now the tricky part is trying to find my way home. Do I take a, do I take a right? Do I take a, do I take a right or a left here? I guess, I guess a left. Now comes the time I've all been waiting for. And let's see if we can make an enchanting table. Now that goes right here. And I've already set up a little bit of this. I don't know what level we are right now. Level 19. I have been feeding up these guys. Oh, just for this occasion. Oh, I'm so excited about it. Look at that massive cow. That is an absolute mass of cow. And what we're gonna do is slice, slice, slice. Oh, moo, moo. Give me all that. Make some books. Now, realistically, this should make plenty of bookshelves. I cannot imagine 
needing more than this. But I think we're gonna go ahead and make four more just to be safe. But I believe, yep, there we are, level 30. That's what I'd like to see. Where do we wanna put it? I kinda wanna put it somewhere where I don't have to listen to it all the time. Maybe right here in the hillside. I'm gonna go ahead and make it extra long, just cause we can. And voila, another portal set. And I completely forgot that I have a custom pack right now so that I don't have to hear the nether portal. But that also realistically means that I could put it pretty much anywhere I wanted and it would not matter because I could not hear it. I don't know where else I would put it. I mean, maybe right here on the front stoop would be cool. And yes, I just called it a front stoop. I'm that old. Go outside if you're going outside. Don't, no, you can't bring your llama in here, sir. You crazy? Are you crazy? Look at this place. I just, I just finished decorating. We have level 30 which means we have the ability to get our first enchantments. And grab some of this lapis in the corner and see what options we have. Protection four on the diamond helmet. That's actually super good. Breaking, uh, not great. Blast protection, meh. Protection four, again on the boots, pretty good. Efficiency four on the ax, pretty solid. Efficiency four, pig ax. Knockback, mm, no. So any of these four items here, and I'm kind of thinking the protection on the helmet, just because, you know, the, the, the more difficult it is for things to squish my brains, I think probably the better considering what we're doing here. So let's go ahead and get the protection for helmet. And what else do I get with it? I'm breaking, please. Uh, respiration's actually interesting. Not really what I wanted, but not great. Or not terrible, rather. It's not really what I wanted, but it's not great. Uh, but I think, I think that's actually a semi-solid first enchant. And I'm going to go ahead and put these tools away once again. But that's a, that's a solid first enchant. I like it. But now it's dark. It's spooky outside. So it's bedtime. I think it's time to hit the nether. Now, with this being our first ever venture into the nether, I'm a little bit nervous. I don't plan on doing much. I really just want some quartz because obviously I need it for observers. Although I suppose that isn't really necessary anymore. I completed what I wanted to do in this episode. I wanted that set up. <laughs> that's fine. I still really want some quartz for observers, so I'm actually really nervous. I got, please don't be a bad spawn. Don't break the portal. Heck, heck, heck. Go home, please. Ah, oh, oh my goodness. What was that? What is that spawn? What is that nether spawn? <laughs> I don't like it. Hey, you broke my dirt. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? Actually, I think the, I think another can wait for a minute. I think another can wait for just a little bit. Uh, I think we need to get ourselves a bow finally. I think that might actually be the next step into doing something useful. Okay. So I think I think possibly our next our next uh, item of, of business is to try to get some XP. The best way to do that right now, I I'm really not sure possibly mining and then smelting stuff up. And after a very short mining expedition and rummaging around in this here cave, I can confirm that caving is not the way that we're gonna be leveling up. That was maybe an hour's worth of work. And all I was able to do was get enough XP to enchant our pickaxe. So touch efficiency is not bad. We named it W. After our first ever channel sponsor, which I don't think I've actually talked about on the channel yet. That's right, W Energy is a partner for us here on the channel, you can use code gyro1 on the W website to get 10% off your first order or any order. That's kind of cool. For full transparency purposes, I do get a kickback. Obviously, that's kind of the point of it, but I haven't actually tried the product yet. My order is in, I haven't gotten it yet, and I will let you know if it's any good by the time I get it. But to get back to the problem at hand here, we need XP, we need a lot of it. And I think I cut this out of the video to begin with earlier, but we did find a spawner pretty much right beneath our base. And so I think probably the easiest way for us to get this XP is go ahead and turn this into an XP farm. And then probably going to need a water bubble elevator up and down from the surface just to make it a little bit easier to get down here. I've already lit up most of the cave around here. So I think as far as spawn rates, we should be okay. And it's a lot easier than making a full grown above ground general mob farm. Those things are dangerous. Zombies, simple, easy, we'll knock it out, let's get it done. But I think before I'm able to even start my time lapse, I, I need to get some materials. Soul sand, which I think should be pretty easy to get. We're in a soul sand valley, I, I'm, I'm nervous about getting shot at a lot. 
but uh need the soul sand we need some soul sand so i got my bow and we're gonna hopefully take out the ghast that was in here if if it's still here and this guy excuse me sir and get the ghast yeah as one two <sighs> perfect now we need soul sand specifically let's gather some of this take a chunk home with me so i don't have to come back in here anytime soon hopefully Honestly, the bow, the bow made this so much easier. I don't know if you guys could pick up on this earlier, but when I first entered this area, I panicked so hard that I forgot to commentate. <laughs> I just went silent, so focused. All right, this actually is not an awful quartz pocket. We're getting a nice amount of quartz out of this. This might have been worth it. All right, let's go home. Let's go home. This is this is probably not worth any extra time here at this point. We got everything we needed. Also, guess what time it is. Guess what's about to happen. Check this out. It's bedtime. And day 100. Woo! Hey, we've done it. Day 100 achieved. Small victory, small victory. Because we are going to 100 hours. That is the goal of this series. But 100 days is still not bad. I have done a little bit of it. I cleared out the space here. We got a, I think it's nine by nine with six uh, or three spaces on each side. I went ahead and made some, a water elevator here for us to go up and a drop. It's terrifying. And right over here, we can see it's where we're gonna go ahead and funnel all of our dudes right down here. That means right here, we're gonna have a, another bubble elevator that's gonna go right on up and over, push everyone over here where the kill chamber will be right around here. Three by one area where they can all stand. That way I can kind of sweeping edge all of them at once. We'll drop them down. I'm gonna get them hopefully one hit. I think we should have plenty of space to be able to make that happen, but that's the plan. So I think, let me uh, let me get to digging. All right, that should do it. We lower the chest a little bit so now we can get up a little bit more up close and personal, get all that XP. And I put a little storage system over here in the corner. I think this should be more than enough storage for the very limited amount of items we get out of this thing. Now the trick is going to be getting myself to level 30 so that we can do a little bit of enchanting. We're going to stand here for a little bit and hang out. And I'll see you guys back at the enchantment table. And after around about two hours of AFK time, which I feel horrible about, all we really managed to do was enchant our chest plate, which is really nice. Protection 4 is lovely. And get... Sub Buster here, Smite 4, Unbreaking 3, Fire Aspect 2, Sweeping Edge 3, not bad at all. And we managed to upgrade our gold helmet, which we're not going to wear right now until we get mending, but it, it's there and it's ready and I'm excited for it. But that's not, that's really not that much for two hours worth of AFK. I feel like it's almost balanced, you know, like we've stood there for quite a while, you know, like it doesn't feel broken, but I also feel really, really bad that I just safely stood there for two hours during our 100 hour challenge of hardcore minecraft i mean the grand scheme is two hours but like i feel bad i did however go ahead and craft up a stand here for our first ever armor set which i think i think is really fun and right here in the chest adjacent is going to be our memories chest any items or collectibles that we find can go right in the memories chest and to start that off i've put the comment of the day book in here this is something new that i want to start doing in every episode, reading your comments, answering questions, commenting back, having a conversation with you in the video, as well as a slight shout out to the individuals who do leave comments on my videos, because I see you and I really appreciate you. Now the first one here is kind of a cop out, or should I say comp out. <laughs> my boy Completator, really good friend of mine. You guys know him from the UnityCraft SMP commented on the last episode of Hardcore and said, did you just make a watermelon joke in 2022? Why, yes, I believe that I did. And thank you so much. I know I'm a beautiful man. You know, you're really not so bad looking yourself there. <laughs> now, if you guys want to get your name and comment in the comment of the day book, all you have to do is leave a comment on this or any future episode of our Hardcore 100 Hours series. And you yourself might just end up in the comment book. Now we have one last thing that we need to complete before the end of today's episode. But in order to do it, let me uh, grab this and we will grab one of these. Make a one of these. Oh, this is actually the first time I made one of these. But yes, I need to locate another village. And I don't know how far 
I actually went with the regeneration. I didn't count it. I just kind of did a, an area around my base that I kept so that not everything had to be reloaded. But judging by the frame rate skips here, I think we're loading new chunks. No, maybe not. No, look, our village is still right there. Ah, perfect. But sadly, I, I, that kind of is all I needed to do since they're still right there. Except I think uh, before I head home, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait and see if these guys will get back in there. Oh, I kind of wish I'd run over here to do this while I was uh, while it was time for them to be sleeping. Oh, there's two of them. Perfect. That's all I needed. That's all I needed. I can breed more. I'm sorry, little extra bee. You're homeless now. I'm sorry, man. But with that, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope that m this more relaxed style of video didn't bring you guys to boredom. I had a whole lot of fun recording this one. But I want to thank you guys for being patient and sticking by me. I really appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been Gyronic. Don't forget to use code Gyro1 on W.com. I don't know if that's the website, but check the description for the link. With that, I'm going to get out of here. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye-bye. Uh,